Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Garden Basics. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, pH balance. Um, it's really important when you're gardening to know uh, what your plants need in terms of pH. Um, essentially what it is is the measure of the acidity or alkalinity uh, in your soil. Now the scale runs uh, from 0 down here up to 14. So 0 is going to be your acids, 7 will be your neutral, and going up through 14 is going to be your alkalinity. Um, now most people are going to be somewhere in between the 6 to 7 range, uh, just their natural garden soils um, acidity level. So that's a little bit more on the acidic side, which is fine for virtually everything. Um, but there are ways to amend your soil, uh, either going down or up, depending on what you want to plant. Now, if you wanted to raise uh, your pH level, there's a few things you can use. Um, you can go with what is known as an agricultural lime. And essentially what that is, um, is just ground limestone. And uh, what that's gonna do is it's gonna slowly raise um, the alkalinity of your soil. Um, it does this very slowly, but it's a much longer lasting process. Um, if you wanted a quicker version of that, you can do uh, hydrated lime. And what the hydrated lime is, um, essentially is what they do is they chemically alter the uh, agricultural lime by adding water. And that is gonna be a much faster acting, but uh, shorter lasting uh, way to increase the uh, alkalinity of your soil. Uh, you can also go with a dolomitic lime and what that does uh, it's virtually the same as agricultural lime but it's um, added magnesium uh, which plants do need so if you find that uh, your soil is a little bit low on uh, magnesium you might want to opt for that now when you're trying to lower the pH um, my preferred method is going to be peat moss um, I like peat moss because it's uh, great for drainage it also helps lower uh, the acidity just um, a little bit. You can also use, um, <coughs> excuse me, you can use aluminum sulfate and you can also use just um, organic compost. Those three options as well as um, a sulfur are all going to help lower the pH balance um, depending if that's what you want to do. Uh, like I said, I prefer peat moss um, the aluminum sulfate and the organic compost work just as well. It's just a matter of preference. Um, excuse me. So there are a few different plants that require a few different things. Most plants are going to be happy between about a six and a seven and a half rating. So somewhere in that range, uh, that'll be the majority of your plants. Um, just for example, you know, uh, potatoes are going to be about a four point eight to a 5.5 .5. so way more on the acidic side than most things um, roses are going to fall right in that sort of sweet zone rhododendron and azalea are going to be uh, a little bit less but not too much in around that 5.5 .5 to 6 range um, most of your fruits are going to also fall sort of in this general 5.5 .5 to 7 range so your blueberries your raspberries grapes um, gooseberries all that kind of stuff uh, peppers strawberries as well those um, tend to be slightly towards that 5.5 .5 to 6.5 range if you wanted something slightly more neutral to uh, alkaline uh, asparagus uh, is going to be up around the 7 to 8 range uh, peaches plums they also love a slightly more neutral to alkaline. They're around that six to seven range, Brussels sprouts, beans, broccoli. They're all gonna be sort of in this range here about the seven, seven and a half mark. So uh, that's just a quick lesson on pH as well as a couple different ways how you can lower or raise it depending on what you wanted to plant. I hope that was helpful and thank you for watching Garden Basics.